Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Red Barn Adventures. So, <clears throat> one of the things I really haven't touched on much is kind of what I like to do in my spare time. Uh, not so much in the wintertime because it's cold in the wintertime and my barn isn't heated. Um, but now that it's getting a little warmer out, um, you'll probably see me start doing uh, some more of this type of stuff. But I like to get uh, tractors, lawnmowers uh, that have just been like sitting and not run for a long time or are in really just bad shape uh, that somebody might take to the junkyard or uh, trade in at their local dealership um, and get a new mower. I like to take them and kind of put them back to pristine condition, you might say. Um, so I went to an auction this last Saturday and I picked up a little John Deere 325. I love, I like dealing with John Deeres. They're super simple to work on. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of thought. Um, and they're not, they hold their value really well. So normally when I can get them fixed up, I can sell them for a decent amount. Um, so I picked this one up at an auction this last weekend. Uh, I got a really, really good deal on it. Um, and I have some pictures of uh, before I started taking it apart, uh, but I just now thought about, hey, I'm gonna start recording this. So here it is, little John Deere 325. Uh, it's got a 17 horsepower uh, engine on it. I believe it's a Kohler. Yep. Uh, a little 17 horsepower Kohler on it. Um, the hood is, is completely smashed up. Uh, it's going to need need a whole new hood, a uh, whole new grill. Here they come. Am I under arrest? Yeah. What am I under arrest for, Karsten? Good. Good. For being good? Yeah. Well, that seems a little <laughs> contradicting. Kids have fun with their car. So, uh, my plan for this is I'm going to fix it all the way up uh, so it looks about brand new. Um, it does run. I put the jump pack on it. Um, so the story behind this was they claimed it was sitting in a barn for like 10 or 15 years, hadn't been run. They tried to start it when they got it out of the barn before they took to the auction, didn't start. Obviously, I don't know if they tried to put new fuel in it, but the fuel is gonna be bad. So I, I, I don't know all those details. So basically we're gonna take it back to like it came from the dealership. Um, but the first thing is, I want to make sure it runs good, that it doesn't have any major oil leaks because there's no point in putting all that money into it if its engine's got a major problem. So, um, first thing we did, uh, and again, I apologize because I didn't start recording, uh, old carburetor. Um, I know a lot of people will tell you, oh yeah, you can rebuild carburetors and just clean them out and they'll be fine. I don't even like to, whoop. Actually, the fuel doesn't smell that bad. Maybe they tried to put fresh gas in it uh, before they tried to start it. But a lot of people say, oh, just rebuild the carburetor, you know, yada, yada, yada. I don't even try to do that. What? As cheap as carburetors are anymore, I just get a new carburetor uh, off of Amazon. What? And I just throw it on there. So, just got done putting the new carburetor on, put the air filter back on. Check the oil, oil's good. Uh, battery, I'm pretty positive, is going to have to be replaced. But that's okay for now, we can put the jump pack on to see if we can get started. The last time the oil was changed was September of 2017. So obviously if we get it get it fired up, uh, we're gonna do a complete service on it, change the oil and things like that. Um, so yeah, new battery. Uh, the deck is actually in really good shape, it's really solid. It doesn't look very good because it's all nasty and rusty and junky. Uh, the wheels, deck wheels are horrible. Luckily I have uh, some deck wheels sitting on my parts pile. I already put one on the front there. Again, they're not like perfect, but uh, they're still good. Um, come around the back, I'm gonna definitely need a new seat. Seat's all junky, nasty. Some new uh, bushings there on the seat mount. The uh, knob for the parking brake is gone. So that's easy to replace and fairly cheap. Tires aren't in bad shape. Uh, 
these have a lot of dry rot on the side of them. The treads are still really nice, but because of all that dry rot, I'm probably going to end up replacing those. Um, probably not the fronts. The fronts don't look that bad. This one doesn't hold air. It leaks around the uh, rim. So we'll have to take it off the rim and clean it out a little bit. This one's pretty good. Got a little bit of dry rot. We'll see what I can find some more. I might be able to find a good deal on some. So uh, that's kind of that. A um, couple other small things. Um, air filter box. Uh, I have a new air filter for it that I got already. The steering wheel actually doesn't lock. Uh, it's supposed to lock in there. So we're going to take that apart and figure out exactly what's going on with that. But again, haul this is a mute point if it doesn't actually start and run and run fairly well. So I just put the carburetor on. I uh, check the oil it's got it could use some oil but I'm not going to put oil in it just because if it does run I'm going to change the oil anyway so it's got it's not below the ad line so we're okay um so we're going to hook the jump pack up we're going to see if we can get it started um and if it starts then we'll start ripping it apart even more so stay tuned So I think <clears throat> since I uh, tried to start it with maybe some of that bad fuel in there, bad, bad, the bad fuel, the bad fuel, uh, there's probably some in this float bowl. So we're just going to crack this. If I can do this without dumping my gas can open over. Get some of that out of there. And because gas can go boom, there is an electrical connection down here. Not that it would spark or anything like that. But just in case. Just in case. Very nice. Okay, so since we have determined that it runs and it actually sounds really, really good, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of the stuff on it uh, over the next couple weeks, month. I'd like to get it ready to go because it is springtime and this is when people buy mowers. So I think my wife would agree, get it ready to go and sell it. Sell it. She says sell it. <clears throat> so. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and just do the oil right now while I got it to this point. We gotta take the, sh the seat shroud off to get to the fuel tank. We're gonna pull the fuel tank, dump all the fuel out of it, uh, get it aired out real nice and good. And probably put a new uh, suction tube on the fuel tank. And then uh, that way it's all nice and clean all the way up. I have to remember to check our hydraulic oil. So that's what we're going to work on. So in case anybody's ever wondering, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just John Deere that's like this. Probably not, uh, but this bolt right here, half inch. This bolt right here, 10 millimeter. Same bracket, three inches apart. Just completely different. And in case you're wondering, I had to take that off uh, in order to actually slide the carburetor out because it would hit the, the fuel bowl. 
Um, and I could have just mounted the fuel bowl and everything, but it was just a lot easier to take that bracket off. Two bolts, different size, but two bolts. That is some black oil. Hmm. Some people. If you don't change the oil in your lawnmowers every year, you should. Um, even if you only mow a little bit, you should still change it. <laughs> like I just noticed. They bought the wrong size battery. Therefore, they just put this little block in here, like a wood block, to make up for the space. I mean, I guess it works, right? So I have, I have done quite a few of the 325s. I've done more of the 345s. Um, I really like doing the 345s. They just they come out really, really nice. They've got the power steering. Uh, most of them have 54 inch decks. This has a 48 inch deck. I might try to find a 54 for it Just because they're more desirable than a 54 depends on what I can find one for um, So I'm really familiar with what it takes to, to put one of these all together um, a complete hood unit uh, The grill looks to be okay. yet. I'll have to get new headlights uh, The hood is actually in two pieces upper hood lower hood um, decals it's you're probably four to five hundred dollars into it um, by then, um, and then the carburetor and oil filter and stuff like that is probably another hundred bucks. Um, seat is right around a hundred dollars. Uh, so then everything else, you know, it all adds up. Um, but in good condition, these things they're very desirable uh, tractors just because they last so long. I don't even actually didn't even check how many hours were on this one uh, when I bought it just because I wasn't necessarily planning on buying it. I knew it was at the auction and I'm like, hey, I mean, I'll see what it goes for and I'll buy it if it's, if it's cheap enough. Well, there was like nobody else there that bid on it. So yeah, I can't even read the hour meter because it's so fogged over. Can't read it, so we'll have to clean all that up too. I think this is gonna be the end of this episode. Um, stay tuned, I'll have more on this. Um, I'll probably do a little series on just this and keep it separate from like the pigs and chickens and everything else that we're doing. So yeah, here we go. Another tractor to do.